Today in the news, Intel goes back to its roots, a what the hell moment for a customer and an interesting mod. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. In Intel news, we got a leak. So the company recently released their new NUC 11 and called it Beast Canyon. Now I've had the pleasure of touching this thing a lot in the last week and well, it's definitely a continued departure from the spirit of Intel's original NUCs. It's bigger and longer than the older model and well, it basically became an ITX PC that costs a lot of money to upgrade. And in case you haven't noticed, Intel's NUCs always were dependent on other manufacturers for their high-end graphics. You had an AMD collaboration for Hades Canyon, an Nvidia collaboration for the Phantom Canyon NUC, and since Ghost Canyon, well, they just let you choose your own. Well, according to a leak that just popped up, the next generation of Intel's high performance NUX is going back to its roots. And Intel is going all Intel for the first time in their high performance market. Yes, I know there are NUX with integrated graphics, but these integrated graphics just aren't as powerful as what Intel is planning on putting in there. It's called the NUC 12, obviously, and it's this small little thing. It was leaked on the Weibo forums and it apparently will come equipped with a next generation Alder Lake CPU. Not only that, but it would have Intel's DG2, the discrete graphics that we've pretty much all been waiting for from Intel, just as competition. We don't know how it performs, and personally, I don't think it's that. Anyways, specs wise, there are three models two with Core i7s and one with a Core i5. In terms of memory, it features dual channel DDR4 memory. This confirms that Alder Lake will work with both DDR4 and DDR5 memory, not interchangeably like in the same system with the same motherboard, but still. Now for the GPU, it will come in three different flavors. We don't know the execution unit count just yet, but look at the memory configurations. You can have 16, 12, or eight gigs of GDDR6 memory. Couple that with the fact that you already have system memory. So DDR4 for the CPU and you have GDDR6 for the GPU. It's not shared like on consoles or with the Steam Deck. Well, this tells us that Intel is probably going to put their highest end performance GPUs in there. The NUC will also support HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort 2.0, which is a real treat. It also will have a 19 volt power supply Supply capable of 330 watts. Lower end models will probably have smaller power supplies. Anyways, besides that, it has good portage, three NVMe slots, Thunderbolt 4, and a beam forming quad array of microphone compatible with Alexa. Personally, it's not for me since these NUCs are usually super expensive, but after editing the NUC video for Hardware Canucks and reading through the comments, I saw quite a few people that are interested in this kind of PC from Intel. Also in a what the hell moment from an add-in board partner, someone bought an RX 6700 XT from PowerColor and they got a pretty nasty surprise that he thankfully caught before the damage was done or really any damage. PowerColor had left the removable stickers on the thermal pads for the memory and power solution. So yeah, if you bought a GPU recently, maybe take another gander at the space between the heatsink and the GPU. I mean, GPU manufacturers are probably running overtime right now. They're probably on crunch. So mistakes like this could, you know, slip by. Just a thing to consider. Next up, we got AMD in the news. Well, it's an AMD technology, but it was used by uh, someone else. Let me explain. So you got FSR, right? It basically gives you a free FPS boost for a small to pretty big quality sacrifice, depending on the settings that you choose. If you wanna know more about it, check out this video up here. But anyways, right now, FSR is only available on a couple of games, something like 25. And um, according to AMD, a lot more games are coming since it's way easier to implement. It might be easier, but the problem is that list of games isn't growing really fast. Well, an independent modder created a mod that basically enables FSR on any game as long as you're running Windows. The mod in question is called Magpie, and it recently received an update that includes FSR, the actual Fidelity FX solution. Now, it's a little wonky apparently, and like with any third-party softwares, you're really using it at your own risk. You never know what could be 
tacked on there. There are, of course, some bugs and all, like the UI apparently scales with the uh, internal resolution, which is kind of weird and also a little wonky, but it's definitely a project that I'm going to keep an eye on. Let me know if you'd like me to make a dedicated video on it like I did with FSR. I think it'd be really interesting and also it'll prevent you from breaking your system if anything happens. <laughs> Lastly, let's do the free game check. This week at the Epic Game Store, if you want some doom and gloom, you got A Plague Tale Innocence. Just looking at the trailer, this game gives me goosebumps. It's an action adventure game that follows two young kids. It gives me some Horizon Zero Dawn vibes, but with less intense gameplay, maybe a touch of Death Stranding in there. But I mean, the trailer looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm for sure going to be downloading it and maybe trying it out this weekend. Plus it was 50 bucks and now it's free. So add it to your library. The second game that's free until this Thursday is Minute. It's a quirky little adventure game with visuals to match that uh, you only play for a minute at a time. By the way, I've been recommending games for free for the last, what, year or so? And I always wondered, do you guys actually go and download them? Let me know down below which one you did download and actually played. I'm really curious about that, so leave it down below. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want me to put my system at risk for uh, Magpie. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty my dudes and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.